In the previous video clip, we saw if we need the permutation number for four objects or for seven objects to be arranged in a row, then we start with that number and multiply by one less than the number and then so on down to one. So four times three times two times one or seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. And so continuing with this idea, it's easy to conceive of the number of permutations of a hundred objects. We start with 100 and then multiply by 99, 98, and so on, down to 3 times 2 times 1. But it's kind of a chore to write all these numbers out. And so to simplify this, we have a special notation, which is known as the factorial notation. Basically, a number followed by an exclamation point is taken to mean that you start with that number, multiply by one less, then two less, and so on, all the way down to three times two times one. Okay, so for example, we need to compute six factorial. Okay, so six factorial means six times five times four times three times two times one. And if you multiply these out, you get the answer, which is 720. Okay, now I'd like to point out on your scientific calculator, okay, for example, on my little Casio here, I do have a special key you may just be able to see it there, which says x factorial. So if I need to compute 6 factorial on my calculator, I can do that real quick using that feature. So enter my 6, and then there's that exclamation point, and then equals and we get our answer which is 720. It does not take the calculator very much longer to uh, calculate a much larger number, say 20 factorial. Well, let's just do one more example, 10 factorial. There it is. 3,628,800. Okay, next example in the notes says 8 minus 3 factorial. Of course, when we have the parentheses, that indicates that we need to perform the operation in parentheses first. So we do 8 minus 3, that gives us 5, and then 5 factorial. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which gives us 120. Okay, in part C, we have to do 9 factorial divided by 5 factorial. And you could compute each of these numbers separately and then do the division. Uh, but there's a shortcut because we have 9 factorial is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then if we want to divide that by 5 factorial, then we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 in the denominator. And so we see that all these factors will cancel. And so our answer then is just 9 times 8 times 7 times 6.
which turns out to be 3,024. And the last example says 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial and also divided by 3 factorial. So let's do that example the same way. 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial also divided by 3 factorial. So up in the numerator we have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, denominator we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, so all those factors are going to go away. And then 3 factorial is just 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6, so that'll cancel that 6. And so the answer is just 8 times 7, which is 56. Okay, the factorial notation allows us to write PNR as a formula. Okay, PNR is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. 